while I ate lunch this morning, I watched this uh, video on YouTube by this YouTuber whose name I still don't know, but I've been watching his videos for years, but he only puts out a video like every six months. Like him and his brother are going to eat at every rainforest cafe in the United States. That was a good one. And then they followed it up with going to eat at every Margaritaville in the United States. But the video he put out recently, I don't know if it was this morning, I don't know if he put it out like a month ago and I just you know finally showed up on my YouTube feed, whatever. Anyway, the video was about um, those Apple AR goggles, and he kind of leaned in heavily, not just on the not on the goggles themselves as like a terrible product, but like these advertisements that he got while using them for super creepy AI girlfriends, and they are creepy. Like the way that the AI responds to any sort of question about its own opinions in a super wishy-washy, well, this is good, but also that's good. It really depends on who you ask. I hate it. How do people fall in love with these things? Like, I could sort of get it in a narcissistic way if your AI girlfriend that you're paying for, which girlfriend that you pay for, AI or not, I don't think that's a girlfriend, anyway. It would be one thing if they, like, agreed with you about everything, but they don't agree with you about everything. They don't have any opinions at all. I don't get why people would like that. Also, the fact that they're all... at least vaguely Asian-looking. I'm sure there's something to be said about, like, American ideas of futurism, like how in the 80s there was this whole thought that Japan was going to overtake the United States like the next biggest economy, and then that didn't happen because the United States was basically like, hey, tie the value of the yen to the US dollar or else, and so they did, and so they spent the next 30 years, 40 years now, in a recession. Anyway. Retrofuturism. All the AI waifus look like kind of vaguely Korean Asian women. And just that seems odd to me. Like it really. Maybe I'm overthinking it, but it sort of feeds into the, uh. the incel idea of like. Western women are all masculine and mean to me, but if I could get a Japanese girlfriend, she'd be all submissive and nice and mommy. Anyway, so that's my morning. For the majority of my life, I've always been like on the side of fiction about AI, where, yeah, obviously I would treat the AI like people, and then the AI becomes a thing, I mean, kinda, not really. But the thing we call AI exists now, and I'm like, I hate this. I do not think that AI waifu needs to be freed, I think she just needs to not exist. I'm like, PETA, 